Okay, so check this out. So I'm listening to Little C's on Mano's podcast, and it's a pretty good episode, I might add. But you know what's crazy? And I also find this to be pretty much disrespectful to him is that you notice that he's only being interviewed to talk about Tupac, Biggie, and Little Kim. He's only being basically booked to do talk about those three topics only. But see what happened. Sees is actually a decent rapper. I mean, he's better than night. You know, seventy percent of the niggas that you hear popping today. But what happened with Sees was when Big died. It's just like everything just went crashing. Like Big was probably the biggest inspirator that he had to rap. When Big died, it just seemed like his career went with it. He put out one solo album that was like 20 years ago. And ever since then, he's just been just getting interviews, just talking about the same stuff in the 90s. But you know what I would have done if I was Little Caesar's manager, A&R, or whomever? I would bring him back on the mic. Because he's not a bad rapper. I mean, he actually had a chance to shine, but, you know, then Mace came through. Mace happened to be more witty. He happened to be more flashy because if you listen to Crush on you, Lil C's had, like, it was really a Lil C's song. So it was basically looked at it. He was going to be the one next to Blow Biggie was rooming him. But Big got killed, and Mace ended up taking that spot. So he basically played the background. And Little Kim ended up eclipsing him as well. Because, you know, she's Little Kim. Little Kim had a superstar stature. But what Little C's need to do, I'll tell you what I would have him do. Come back, drop a freestyle, or do a song using the Think Big beat. I vision him coming back doing that. So people will come back and be like, oh, Little C's is back? Because Big needs spitters to take on tradition. And what better guy than the guy that, that was under him? Because Seas is a good rapper. Right? He's a decent rapper. So him rapping over the Think Big beat, put that joint out on Biggie's anniversary birthday, man, Lil Seas will be back out there. Let him put on an EP, get him some hard producers, and he's there. That's all it would take. Because he's very, he's actually a very insightful guy. And it's just sad that every time that they talk to him, they like, what about what happened with you and Pac in the quad shooting? What happened with you and Big? What happened with you and Ken? What happened with you and Snitch? I'm like, there's like layers to do. It's just a matter of him building his confidence back in to go out. Now, he may be comfortable the way his life is now in terms of not being a rapper or being in the public no more. Because there's some people that are just comfortable living a regular life. But if I had personal handling with Lil C's and the direction he wanted to come back, that's why I would start him on rap, have him rap over that Think Big beat, drop a freestyle or something. And these kids would be like, yo, Biggie's man's, Lil C's? Shoot. We need to check for him. So that's what I would have done. And on top of that, have a track with Mano squashing this stuff. Have a track with Mano and probably shoot a little video with that. Drop a little nice appetizer. And Lil C's will probably making noise. So that's my that's my thoughts about that. That's what I would do if I um had a direction of Lil C's in his career. So let me know what you guys think. Subscribe, hit the like button. Peace.